The candor there from Craig Council. A little scared, a little worried right now. He knows what's at stake here, Mike. I mean, just your overall reaction. I was floored, as were most people, leaving Milwaukee to Chicago. But I guess the more you look at it, it does make sense. It does make sense. I mean, it's one of the storied franchises. $40 million might sway a lot of people. <laughs> but, you know, Counts being an ex-teammate of mine, always very cerebral. Uh, I think he showed how vulnerable that position is, too. You know, he's real. He's saying there, there's stuff to be scared about, but he's not going to back away from the challenge. You know, he's going to a team that I think the luxury is they got deep pockets. They can, you know, pay for some guys. They can be, that's a winnable division. And ironically, the guys that they probably want to beat are his, his former team that he just left. But I, I did appreciate, like you said, Adnan, the fact that he did not say, you know, oh, I'm leaving Milwaukee because Chicago's better. No, th there was a lot of time, a lot of sweat, and a lot of, uh, you know, emotion that he poured into being the manager of the Brewers. And he's one of the exceptional minds in the game. And I, and I think the Cubs are much better for it. Now, I feel bad for David Ross. When we're talking about the human aspect, yep. I don't know if he did anything wrong. No. You know, he's, he's a good manager, a guy the players liked, still had a year left. So that's the shock. You know, that's, you know, we live in a little bit of a fairy tale land in baseball world, but, you know, he's without a job and he's a good baseball guy. Yeah. So I, that, that hurts a little bit. 100%. Hopefully David Ross finds a job sooner or oh, later. Will. And I like the fact that Craig said, listen, he was a class actor yep. and he reached out. You mentioned the $40 million. Council made $21 million in his career. So pays to be a manager if you guys are looking for a <laughs> There you go. Spot. A good one. <laughs> yeah. As far as offseason needs, I think it starts, Mike, first and foremost, re-signing Bellinger, who had a renaissance with Chicago. I mean, you look at some guys and you say, well, the talent was there. Rookie of the year, we saw MVP. He had two real down seasons. So this was kind of like a reclamation project. And what are we going to get for the year? Boy, did he look like he found a home in Chicago. So I, I got to believe that factors into it from a Cubs standpoint and from a Bellinger standpoint. I don't think as a player, the money's going to be there no matter where you go. Don't you want to go where you're comfortable and you have a chance to win? I, I, I got to believe those are two major factors. And I mean, you look at 21 and 22. I'm not sure Belly slept really good at night in between games from one day to the other. You know, you, 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 he knows how good he was. Mm -hmm. And to have this resurgence and maybe found something, maybe it was a relationship with the hitting coach, maybe it's just the comfort of being in a different area, that has to play. So I think if I'm the Cubs – upper management, I got to make a full court press on bringing this guy back. It seems like he would be indispensable at offense. Other needs here, Zach? First base, third uh, base? First and third base, it sounds like they're going to give Cristobal Morel a shot at first base, a guy they've moved around. Third base, Patrick Wisdom has played the majority of third base. It's an organization right now. If you go out and spend $8 million a year to bring in Craig Council, you're going to have to figure out what you want to do at first, what you want to do at third. But more importantly, what are you going to do with that starting rotation, too? Marcus Stroman decided to opt out. The steel cage, Justin Steele, took a step in the right direction, put himself right in the NL Cy Young mix. Jamison Tyon, kind of those roller coaster up and down year. Mm -hmm. They need him to be better next year. And the bullpen. Yeah. One of the things, the strength of Craig Council has always been to be able to maneuver and handle a bullpen. Now, it helps when you have Devin Williams and Josh Hader. It <laughs> makes a lot of managers okay. look smart. But they're going to have to be creative. I think that bullpen was on fumes towards the end of the year mm -hmm. they're going to need a guy in the ninth inning some setup guys I think they're going to rebuild it but one thing I've also learned long term look what the Rays do every year they go into spring training they really don't know what their set roles are and every year going into May it seems like the Rays have figured out their bullpen they've got it solved the Cubs can do that but I think when you give that much money to a guy like Council mm -hmm. they're going to spend some money and try to be good I know you've been bullish on Keegan Thompson in the past do you think he's a key piece yeah yeah I thought he took a little bit of a step backwards last year I've always thought he would be better in the starting rotation than in the bullpen. He bounced around, sent down a couple of different times. He wasn't as good in 2023 as he was in 2022, but I wouldn't give up on him just yet. Yeah, Albert Owsley also a key weapon for them as well.